Hey folks, Nick here. And today, I wanna to show you how to get the most out of Ruby during the Ironman VR Championship series. Before you get to riding your bike, you need to take care of a few technical items. First, you need to head to the Ironman Virtual Club website. Click on the dashboard tab and scroll down to your connected apps. To be eligible to compete in the Ironman VR Championship Series, you need to make sure that Ruby is listed as one of your connected apps. You must have the Ruby application connected for your ride to count. It will not count if you sync through another application. Once you've verified that Ruby is listed as a connected application on the dashboard section of the Ironman Virtual Club website, you can head to Ruby to begin your ride. On Ruby, head to the upper left-hand corner. Here, you can see your connected devices. Verify that your smart trainer is listed as one of our compatible devices. You must connect your certified trainer as both a power source and a controllable device. Connecting as a power source ensures that you'll get your wattage reading. Connecting as a controllable device ensures that Ruby will be able to control your trainer and give you the feedback and resistance that provides that real road feel. To access the course on Ruby for this week, click the change button and a variety of courses will populate. Head to the Ironman tab and select the appropriate race for this weekend's event. Once you've selected the proper course, click download for the best result. At this point, you can check out the course on training mode, but don't take off on your race effort until you change into race mode. Race mode is accessed by clicking the race tab right under the course. When you finish the course, be sure to click end race and verify that your activity uploads to the cloud. Once you've verified that your activity is uploaded to the cloud, you can head to the Ironman Virtual Club website and check your progress for the race. Remember, within the Ironman VR Championship Series, you need to complete your activities in the proper order. You complete the short run first, then the bike on the Ruby platform using the settings we just discussed, and you'll finish it off with a longer run. I hope this video helps you get the most out of your Ruby experience, and I look forward to an incredible weekend of racing. As always, happy training, and I'll see you out on course.